Good day and welcome to our roundup of CES 2022 day 1. And without wasting any time, we'll be starting off with what Intel has to offer. For starters, Intel has announced their new 12th gen KS series desktop processor with a single core frequency of 5.5GHz and multi-core frequency of more than 5GHz. Intel has also launched 8 12th gen H-series mobile processors. Equipped with 14 cores and 5GHz, it can deliver up to 40% higher performance than previous generation processors. Intel has also shown that games can deliver higher frame rates against their AMD competitor, ranging from 11% to 66% higher frames per second, depending on the games tested. The H-series mobile processors will power over 20 new designs from partners including Dell, Gigabyte, HP, Lenovo, MSI, Acer, ROG, and Razer. In addition to that, Intel will also be releasing the 12th gen P-series mobile processors for thinner and lighter laptops. This line will include 6 new processors, which delivers up to 2 times the performance compared to their 11th gen U-series processors. Now, it's not just the processors that Intel touched on, as they've also announced that they'll be launching Intel Arc GPU to more than 50 mobile and desktop designs. The selling point of this GPU would seem that it can be combined with Intel Core platforms using Deep Link, which, long story short, means that both Intel GPU and CPU will be going hand in hand with each other, which results in better graphics and performance. Intel Arc will be coming soon in quarter 1 of 2022. Now, let's move on to what Nvidia has to say. The first thing they mention is their GeForce Now, their cloud gaming service. Besides now being able to play Battlefield 4 and 5 on it, GeForce Now will also be coming to Samsung Smart TVs, which would be expected to start in quarter 2 of this year, as well as partnering with AT&T to bring GeForce Now to mobile devices. So those who can't afford PCs or gaming consoles will have new options open for them. Nvidia has also announced new 27-inch monitors which uses G-Sync technology. Claiming to reach up to 360Hz refresh rates, the monitor can also switch from its default 1440p mode to 1080p mode at 25-inch display. The monitors will be available soon from AOC, MSI, ROG, and ViewSonic. Now, the thing that most people are waiting from NVIDIA are the GPUs, so let's get into that. They've announced RTX 3050 desktop GPU which promises to run the latest games at over 60 frames per second. This $249 GPU will be available on January 27th. Nvidia has also announced RTX 3080 Ti and RTX 3070 Ti laptop GPUs. Delivering more than 100 frames per second at 1440p, these laptops will be coming in at a price of $2,499 and $1,499 respectively. They've also unveiled over 160 gaming and studio GeForce based laptop designs and new desktop and laptop GeForce RTX accelerated content. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, the announcement of the RTX 3090 GPU, Nvidia's most powerful consumer GPU to date. The disclosed details of the GPU include 40 shader teraflops, 78RT teraflops, 320 tensor teraflops and 24GB of 21GBps G6X memory. Sadly, nothing more has been said about the GPU, but more details of it will be only revealed later this month. Now, AMD obviously aren't gonna let others outshine them at this year's CES event, and with that comes the launch of their new Ryzen 6000 series mobile processors. These processors come with Zen 3 Plus CPU core, RDNA 2 graphics, which would be the first time they've done this to their notebook APUs, and TSMC's 6 nanometer process technology. These would allow the processors to deliver boost speeds up to 5 GHz, 1.3 times faster processing compared to their 5000 series. It was stated that there will be more than 20 different Ryzen 6000 mobile processors, and the first one will be released starting in February. As for their graphics, they've announced a bunch of Radeon 6000 mobile GPUs. AMD's new S series features three new GPUs. RX 6600S would be able to run the latest games at over 80 frames per second at max settings, while RX 6700S and RX 6800S can run at over 100 frames per second at max settings. AMD has also expanded their M series by introducing RX 6850M XT, RX 6650M, which also has an XT version, RX 6500M, and RX 6300M. As for desktop GPUs, 
AMD announced the RX 6500 XT, which has a sustained clock rates of over 2.6 GHz, 16 compute units and RAID accelerators, and 60 MB of Infinity Cache. This budget GPU will be available on January 19th with a starting price of US$199. In addition, AMD's Adrenaline software will be getting an upgrade in the form of Radeon Super Resolution which will allow it to upscale game resolution that, unlike FSR, will work on any games. Also last year, AMD announced their AMD Advantage program, and for this year, in accordance with that program, they've announced two new laptops, the Alienware M17R5 and Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. The Alienware laptop features Ryzen 6980HX CPU and RX 6850MXT GPU, as well as the first to include AMD Smart Access graphics. Meanwhile, the ROG laptop will be a thin and light gaming laptop that features Ryzen 9 6900HS CPU and RX 6800S GPU. Besides that, AMD also announced that they'll be integrating 3D vCache into Ryzen processors, with Ryzen 7 5800X3D being the first one to feature this technology. It features 8 core 16 threads, up to 4.5GHz boost, and 64MB of 3D cache along with 32MB of 2D cache. This allows the processor to deliver an average of 15% more frames per second than Ryzen 9 5900X. The CPU will be available starting this spring. And now, AMD closes off with a tease on their next generation Ryzen CPU architecture, the 5nm Zen 4. And the new CPU featuring this architecture would be the Ryzen 7000 series desktop processor. Zen 4 will be launched in the second half of this year. And that's about all we'll be covering for the first day of CES 2022. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for a roundup on the second day. And until then, take care.